everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to learn about radio and communication. So basically we're going to make a project where we set up two microbits and they can communicate messages, integers and images to each other using the radio function. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project and it's going to be called Teleporting Ghost. I'll explain the logic behind this project after I name it. So in this brief video, we're going to be sending an image of a ghost from one microbit to another and we're going to add lots of sound effects to make it cool. So we don't need the forever loop. And then we're going to go to radio. And then you can see here, there's a bunch of blocks, which is in the radio category. And we won't worry about the more section for now. We'll just cover the basics of radio. So we're going to drag out radio set group one out and place it in the on start loop and it's from the groups category this basically sets up a sort of communication line between two microbits and that means that no other microbit can interfere in the communication of it so the microbits will be sending messages back and forth to each other and there will be no other microbits involved in this because we set it in one group and then in input we're going to drag out on shake so when the microbit is shaken and on the simulator, there's a button called on shake, or you could just wiggle the microbit like that. The simulator is shaking. We're going to send a string from radio, alerting the other microbit. We're going to call it incoming ghost. And actually, since, well, it's a kind of surprising thing, I'm going to add an exclamation mark at the end. And then we're going to clear the screen. Well, the message won't directly show up on the microbit. It's sending, well, a string. And basically, when it receives that string, although it won't show on the microbit, it will show an image of a ghost. We're going to clear the screen right after. And we can always add sound effects and extra features to this app. And then in radio, I'm going to drag out on radio receive, receive string. So when it receives the string that we sent here, it says incoming ghost. Well, it's gonna obviously show an image of the ghost. So you show icon, then we could click the little upside down triangle and there'll be a drop down menu of images like I've already told you before. And we're going to pick the ghost one. So if we run this, I'm just going to restart it. If we shake the microbit, another microbit is going to appear. And then I'm going to show you it on the big screen. So this initializes communication for two microbits. Then when I click shake, it's going to show the ghost over here. And then when I click shake again, the ghost is going to teleport onto the other microbit and show. Now we can always add extra features to this, such as sound effects. We're going to go to music. We're going to drag out play melody and well, I think for this one, it's better if we choose a pre-existing audio called Mystery. If you go to Editor, choose it, you can see all the notes that is, well, involved with this melody. So if I run it, it's going to loop through all of the notes. And of course, you could change your tempo, you could adjust it to how fast or slow you want it to be. But I recommend 180 because we want a quick tune to play before the ghost teleports onto the other mic so it'll be quite brief if I run it. So if I run it, it's going to be a lot faster than it originally was. And then we can click done and well if I run this there should be a melody involved. One last feature we're going to add, we're going to add a countdown timer before the ghost appears on the other mic. So we're going to go to music and then we're going to drag out play tone middle C for one beat. And then we're going to drag it here. And then you can experiment with these notes. But what I recommend is middle G, which is here. And then, well, half a beat. So it's also kind of brief. And then we can duplicate it two times. And then we can add a break between names. You can also add rests in between of these. But they won't be that important because we're going to show numbers anyway. So there's going to be like a... Uh, three duplicate that two duplicate that one so it goes three to one with sound effect and then it sends the message incoming ghost and it won't appear on the screen because we did clear screen 
and we only want to go I'm gonna go full screen and then you have to shake the micro bit and it says three two one then it shows a ghost on the other micro bit and then there's also like a mystery kind of song playing and then if we click shake here It basically appears on the mic a bit and then it shows the same 3 to 1 time. So this is the code for this project and we're going to transfer it onto my actual mic a bit and then I'm going to show you. So guys, as you can see, I've transferred the code onto two different mic a bits and I'm going to shake one. And then you can see that it goes 3 two, one, and then a ghost appears on the other micro bit and it plays a sound. I'm going to shake this one more time. And then you can see that the same thing happens. So guys, that is it for this really brief video about this project. We're going to do a much bigger project and it's going to involve lots of hardware later. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!